Another hard hitting super middleweight man. He was just in action. Yeah, he could hit. That's facts. Yeah, he was rolling some heads a couple weeks ago, man. He gonna be back in action on the 18th of December, man. We got the one and only Moles Wadi joining us, man. How you doing, brother? What's going on, boys? How are you? Good, good, good. Good So listen, man. Yeah, man. Likewise. But um, hold on, you got some more light. Who that is right there? I can't even see. What you can't see? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that Mo? Who's that? Is that an imposter? One sec. Jan Hansen. Is that an imposter? <laughs> is that the real Mo Zawadi? Damn, one sec. Let me see if I got more light. Hold up. You gotta ask it, man. Yeah, so you that leg is that better? <laughs> is that the okay? That's the real Mo Zawadi. For a second, <laughs> I was wondering, is that an imposter? What's going on? <laughs> I love it. What's going on? Yeah. How much, bro? Just finished the training session. Yeah. You still at the gym? Uh, no, no. I'm done at the gym. I just oh, okay. I had the two training sessions today. Oh, one okay, in Toronto okay. and one in Barry. Okay, okay. So listen, man, coming off a sensational second round knockout uh, down there in D.C., man, how was that experience uh, going down there? I was sick down there. It's different. I like it in the States. Every, everybody's about boxing down there, right? Everyone's so so welcoming in the boxing in the boxing world it's uh i made a name for myself down there after that knockout yeah and no, I, th- I saw the clip i think you did for real. yeah <laughs> so listen i know you're coming back here on the 18th um what's your preparation looking like for that fight obviously you said you know you just finished training session so you know how's that going in between fights fighting so close in between good we we, we were taking a little we were taking it a little too slow i think um we we're only fighting like once or twice a year, but now, now we're just gonna we're gonna steamroll everybody now. Everybody's getting it now. Um, after we fight this guy, this guy, I, I think his name is Marco something. He's uh, he's tough. He's fought some good guys, but we'll see how he does, how he can handle the power. And then uh, after that, I'm just figuring out what weight what weight I'm gonna be at for now. I was just gonna ask you that because it's listed as light heavyweight, and we know you've been campaigning at super middleweight. Yeah. Um, what's the decision making as to why you might go up or down? Uh, day of, day of weighing. D- see, I'm not... <laughs> so that's specifically just obviously. Yeah. This that's province. Yeah. 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 So I can't, I can't, I can't make uh, 68 day of. But day before, you good? Yeah, day before, yeah. I haven't made it yet. Been a couple pounds off, but I know I can make it facts man that hurts me to hear that man because i just feel like ontario is just putting our fighters behind the eight ball man it's like oh yeah ontario does it backwards they don't know what they're doing they need to change it and you just say you enjoy going down to the states so I yeah because it's it's better man especially when you hit hard now like i'm i'm worried about breaking my hands every time i fight in ontario like it's it's crazy no yeah. no talk to about how much tape and guys you're allowed to use when you was out there in DC. Oh, bro, I didn't, I, I didn't feel anything. Oh, and I was hitting like a super heavyweight down there. I didn't feel a single thing. <laughs> I love it, like a Mack truck. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you, like it, it's blo- it's mind blowing to me that the thing that make you money, that feed your family and take care of yourself, is your hands, and that's the least protected thing. Okay, it's mind blowing to me. It doesn't really make any sense. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look, it's so listen, man. You 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 going in you going from camp to camp. Um talk to us about how you know what I'm saying what are you on like uh going on like a 12 week camp now from the camp before DC and then going into this fight. Yeah, like 10 weeks, 10 weeks, I think. It'll be like 10 to 12 weeks going on the whole thing. Uh the last camp was good, man. I focused hard the last camp. Cause the guy I fought had 35 fights. His record was whatever, but he had 35 fights, right? And he only been stopped five times. <laughs> And he fought guys like Phil Agreco, uh, Jamal James, right? And uh, he hasn't been stopped in a couple of years. He hasn't been stopped since, I think, 2015. And it just shows, man. I, I think I just got different power in my hands than most of these guys because it was it was easy at the end of the day. And talk to us about the um, the, the sparring partners that you're, you know, you're getting in the ring to prepare you for these fights, especially uh, did you get any work in the U.S. Uh, pre- preparing for this fight in D.C.? No, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, we were thinking about it going down a little early for a little camp. But I had great sparring. I sparred uh, like my main sparring partner was uh, Steve Rolls. So uh, that Rolls. guy, that guy is so smart in the ring, man. He knows his shit. He's good. He keeps me on my toes. 
That's some good work right there. Definitely, oh, yeah. that's some good work from Steve Rose. Today and today, I was just sparring. Uh, he's a heavyweight. Uh, Salar. Okay. Yeah. I know Salar. Yeah. 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 How, how was that? Good man. It was good. Good work. He's big, but you know, I, I hit, I hit, I hit harder than most of these heavyweights. So. So it's a whole different type yeah. of game. I love yeah. it, man. Um, do you felt like uh, you said it was easy going into your last fight, even though you know he had thirty five fights? You felt like you executed the game plan, or you had to make an adjustment um, away from the game plan that helped you to secure the knockout? Um, we thought he was. We weren't one hundred percent sure about the knockout. What was going to come? Right? Said so if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, we box him for four rounds. But like after. 30 seconds, I, I hit him with a left hook and his whole his whole reaction just changed. And after that, I knew I could get him at any at any point in that fight. That's what's up. Um, I also want to know from you because you, you took an L earlier in your career, but you've been able to bounce back. Speak mm -hmm. about your mental fortitude and the ability to realign yourself, you know what I mean, on the goal. Of obviously being a world champion one day. Uh, I think that loss, I think that loss, I needed that in some ways. I don't really take, yeah, it was a loss, but a lot of things happened in that fight, right? It, it, I was young. I was a little younger. I never broken my hand or ever been in something like that ever in a fight. And I think if I didn't have broken my hand, broken my hand, I think I would have stopped him. If I'm being 100% honest with you. I was hurting that guy like four times around. And then when I hit my hand, everything just went downhill. And I still, to be honest, a lot of people still thought I won that fight. I was watching the fight over and over again, and I thought that fight was damn close. So, I love it. Yeah. Ontario could be the reason you broke your hand, too. Oh, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. This is going to be your sixth four-rounder. No, no. This one, this one's a six-rounder. Okay. Well, they got it here listed as a four-rounder. This is your first six-rounder. Yeah. Um, talk to us about uh, that. Are you prepared for that and um does that make your job a little bit easier given that you got two extra rounds yeah i feel like um i'm, I'm really adapting into the later rounds now right I'm, I'm carrying my power into the later rounds and i'm sparring these guys like steve all these all these uh all these vets right and they're not just four-round fighters they're 12 round fighters so it teaches me a lot so yeah i'm ready for the six rounds but it, yeah. it, it, it ain't going six rounds <laughs> i love it you definitely getting your third fight for 2022 uh going into 2023 um give us a bit of the roadmap for mo Zawadi. we got some big plans i think me and lee uh we just got to stick to the game plan and follow 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 everything to a t and there's no reason why we couldn't why we couldn't do the biggest things around here you know what i mean and be the next star out of canada and then next to the world we just i just got to uh just got to focus and stay disciplined but as of right now, we don't know. We're worried about uh, December 18th. So you don't know how much fights you're looking to have in 2023? I say about uh, five. About five. If if you have it your way, obviously. Yeah, Barring yeah. injuries and everything else. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. This this go ahead. Go ahead. No, just just quickly. Um, we were looking at the titles in Canada. Um, super middleweight, light heavyweight, they're both vacant. Is that anything that you know is on your list of things to do as far as your career goes? 100 percent next year. Next year, I, 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 I never, I don't like to do much talking. I'm not that type of guy, you know, because I could fight in the ring. But I, I just don't, I don't see any of these guys at 68 beat me over here. I just, uh, I don't know. You got to talk your shit. You got to let the people know uh, what's yeah, good. Yeah. Let them know, Ain't nobody reader. And, 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 and in case you don't know, you can't get, you can't have no friends in your division. If they yeah. in your division, you can be cool with them. But they, y'all can't be friends because then one of the day, I got to see you. Man, we got to talk. How are we going to know who to fight, going to fight who, and who not going to fight who if we don't know, like, oh, I want that smoke. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take that smoke any day they're ready. That's how 100%. we know, like, okay, yeah. in six months, we want to see Mo fight this person right here. Yeah. That's right. You know what I mean? That's and how. I think, I, I think there's a big fight everybody wants to see at 68 next year for the title, and I'm all for it, too. Who's so, that? You guys don't know. You guys don't know. It's going to be, oh, it'll be Greg, a good you one. Know? It'll be a good 68. You know who you just had on the on the on the live stream? Oh, he 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 talking that J Money business. 
Oh yeah. 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 You gotta get that. I like I like I like I like Bianca. That is, that, is that what his dad says? Yes, we know who, you know who he is. Yeah, that's senior. <laughs> yeah, we uh we go way back though. I've known him for a while. He, <laughs> we fought a couple times in the amateurs, actually. He's good, man, but we're in the same we're in the same weight, so we're gonna have to fight one day, right? Yeah. And uh, fuck it, why not make it for the Canadian title? I'm ready to build it. I, I love that. that. I love it. And that. it would just be it would just be a sick fight for Ontario, let alone Canada. Yeah, yeah. Dope fight, right? Yeah. That'd be sick. That's so That'd sick. be a domestic dust up. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah I'll be on my megaphone making all kind of noise. About that. <laughs> sure. But he's doing good too. I think he's fighting some Friday. On Friday, yeah. Like, yeah, he's good, man. I like, like I said, it's all business at the end of the day. Nothing. It's not personal. So, but. We're, we're going to meet each other one day in the ring, I guess. So might as well make it for a Canadian title. So obviously not making any trouble. Is it safe to say right now um, you're you're in a very good spot when it comes to lead bags, the promotion, um, and what they're doing with your career, the way they're navigating it, and uh, you don't foresee yourself making any moves anytime soon? No, nah, man. I got – it's 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 good. Like Because because you because listen, I know. I know. Cause I traveled to the U.S. Greg came a few times. Like, but being in the boxing circle, the embrace of the love is different. Yeah, it's, it, it is, but you, yeah. it's night and day. I talk about it every single time. Like when it comes to Ontario boxing, it's like it's it's mind blowing to me the things they expect to happen. It's like this is boxing. Boxing really loves their own. Now, boxing loves power punchers. Yeah. Now that, that's you are a power too. puncher. Now yeah. I know they're gonna be showing you bad love. So talk to me, man. Yeah, no, me and Lee, we, it's it's a connection with me and him, right? I feel like, uh, like like I said before, I think in the other videos, he's known me. I'm 21 now, and he's known me since I was 16, so five years, right? And uh, I never really had my eye on another promoter until then, but you, you never know what happens. But for now, I'm, I'm with Lee, so. That's what's up. Lee's definitely a solid one. He's going yeah, and to I got, uh, like, everything uh, he can to help you. Uh, on the team, too, I got Vargas, too. He's always, you know, he's... It, it, it just helps so much having him him uh, helping out, right? So that's definitely a good look. Um, having that experience with all the names that's been on his resume, and the, you know, just being under the lights and the big moments, and you know, give you a little insight on what can and can happen is definitely uh, mm -hmm. amazing. Um, I'm just the, the, the age. I'm so young, man. Where I don't really have to rush nothing right now. No, you just take your time and continue to uh, develop. Yeah. Um, do you feel like uh, it's difficult for you to go rounds and work on things that you and your coach has put in place in camp because of your power. Yeah, this fight, this last fight, we uh we wanted it to go the not the distance, but if I if I was gonna stop them or I see we wanted it to go a couple rounds to get the rounds in, right? But you see you don't get paid for overtime, right? So anything happened, so I know a lot of people. A lot of people are, you know, they 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 send me messages after the fight. You gotta let it go the distance. You gotta. Let it. I was like, no, no. If I knock this guy out, I'm knocking him out. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know. You 21. It's not time to rush it. But when can we envision Mozawadi headlining a show in Barry for the hometown fans? We got to get the promoters to work together on that one. We, uh, so you obviously know I trained with Mark over here in Barry. Uh huh. We, uh, that's that's the dream, man. That's the goal. Like to have me and him on the same show, right? We've been training together for twelve years, or yeah, eleven years, something like that. So if we could do something, who knows? I don't like to make it about the promoters, right? At the end of the day, it's about the fighters. All day so, long, you better know that. You know and leave, I mean? leave, all of them hearing me, I'm pro fighter. Yeah, without us, there's no show. So, um, we got we got to make something work next year for it, definitely. I love it, man. But definitely, you got to put on a fan, put on a show for your fans. Even you know it's early in your career, give them a taste so they so that when you come back, you know what I'm saying with the big show, they can see the growth. You know they gonna mm -hmm. see the growth mm -hmm. from watching, but ain't nothing like up close and personal. Not everybody can travel, so you want to give sure. those people who. You know, I mean, really, really, really love you. An opportunity to see you up close, you know, put on a show. For sure. So we we push it. Lee, you got to make that happen, baby. <laughs> Lee, my man Lee. Yes, sir. got to put the man 
in the hometown of Barry, man. We be oh, there. Yeah, we we sell we be there. We, Barry, you know Barry's what? actually a crazy yeah. like supportive city, man. Not a lot of people are like people are like, oh, you from Barry? Where's Barry? Barry's a crazy city, man. Hey, hey, Tyler. I don't know if you and Lee got no bull, but y'all put that aside, man. Let's make these fights, baby. That's what I'm saying. want to see it, man. Let's make it happen. That's you know me. I don't got no smoke. I tell them both. I love both of y'all, but y'all got to stop the bull. Y'all messing up the sport, man. Let's mm -hmm. get this business together and get these fights for these people to see. For sure. I love it, man. Listen, I want to ask you about Smithers, man. How you feel seeing him? You know, he got his belts. Um, is that even extra motivation to just do what you do, man? Yeah, man. Of course, I've, I've of course, like, I've I've been through that guy since his like twentieth amateur fight. You know what I mean? I've seen him go through everything. He's likewise, he's seen me go through everything, right? Mm. So it's just uh, like I'm always cheering for him, no matter what. You know what I mean? I never want to wish anything bad upon the guy, and I, I, I'm in his corner till he's done boxing, right? And hopefully, he's in my corner till I'm done too, right? Which I, I know he will be. For sure. Well, we definitely love the fact that, you know what I'm saying, you always show up and, and you you answer all the questions, you know what I'm saying, that we ask um, professionally um, in a good manner. It definitely shows, you know, your character. Yes, and I know a lot of people out there, you know what I'm saying, going to search you and see your fight style and be like, yo, Mo is definitely uh, um, the man to watch. Definitely whenever you fight at Rebel Entertainment Complex. But these people, another thing, these, these, these people got to get it out of their mind that I'm just a puncher because I can box better than 90 percent of these guys too that's why i asked you the question bro does your power make it difficult for you because again it overshadows everything you don't yeah, get to see yeah, people that real yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, now to answer that question correctly actually people think people <laughs> have this assumption that i'm just a puncher just a puncher right but i'm not like my bo my boxing is better than my punching to be honest you know what i mean and people just think oh this that because i'm ending these fights all in the first round you know what I mean? But they'll see. They'll see when they get in the ring. Yeah, no, I second that. You know how when people say, oh, no, he, he can do more things. It's like, no, Mo can actually do a lot more things in the ring. It's yeah. Just, yeah, the power just takes over. And I've, I know that from personal experience, like just seeing you come up through the amateurs and stuff. Like, Yeah. Yeah, sure. you, could, you could box for sure. <laughs> so, so far, Mo, this is my final question to you. So far, so far in your boxing career what has been the biggest surprise to you coming from the amateurs to the pros uh how you really gotta have a team around you like a like a solid team because everybody's in it for one thing right and that's money so you really you really gotta be careful especially the, the amateurs you know what i mean i took the amateur serious like it was my job right but you can you can relax a little more, have a little more fun. This is my job now. This is what I do, right? So, without a good team, you, you might you might as well stop boxing because you're gonna get you're gonna get fucked at the end of the day. Well, you better say that again. I yeah. say it all the time. It's a more of a hurt business outside the ring than inside. Cause at least you got a referee in there. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Well, man, we definitely appreciate you coming on. We definitely going to catch up with you. Fight week. We're going to get out to the gym. You're going to see me. Don't make no mistake about that. We're going to get some work and let the people know, you know just how sharp and how crispy you're looking inside that ring and yes, what sir. they can definitely expect um, on fight night and why. You guys pulling up? You pulling up to the fight? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You guys yeah. got everything. Hey, <laughs> you already know what's going on, man. It's the way everywhere, man. Every single way. <laughs> We're going to be there. We definitely appreciate it 1,000% coming through, my man. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Yo, just drop your social media just before you get up out of here. Follow me on uh, Instagram, Mozawadi, and then Facebook, Mozawadi, and then uh, Snapchat, also Mozawadi. I don't got Twitter. And don't worry, Mo. The what's, next what, one... What, one. One more thing. What, what's your guys' prediction for my fight? For your fight? Yeah. What's our prediction? Yeah. I mean, uh, all KOs right now, man. So yo, we got. I mean, <laughs> see if you guys can get get. Let's see if you guys. We'll screen record this. You can guess the round and the knockout. We'll see. Yeah, what's on the line though? <laughs> yeah, we can put, we can, what's on the line? On. You know, like it, it makes it, it makes it, you know sweeter for me. Like what's on the line? Yeah. Like we ain't got to do much. We can do something else. You know, I'd be creative. You know what? I hate you in the DM. I'll let you know. I'll pick the round because that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Um, but yeah, definitely hold it down, man. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. 
and uh, we catch up with you. Hey, listen, the next time around, you know, we'll do it the other way. You know what I'm talking about. You did. Yes, sir. All right, bless. Okay, appreciate you guys, yeah? All right, right, man, be good. Later. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, man, the fans rising. We call him Starbucks over here in Ontario.